Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News in High Definition. Southern California Muslims are among the millions of people reacting to the, today to the death of Osama bin Laden. Eyewitness News reporter Melissa McBride is live in Highland Park where local Muslims are speaking out. Melissa. And Leslie, good morning. The Muslim Public Affairs Council says it greeted news of Osama bin Laden's death with an immense sense of relief and also says today is a day for gratitude. Gratitude for President Obama, for his national security team and for those forces on the ground that went in and brought Osama bin Laden to justice. MPAC says the mastermind of the 9-11 terror attacks violated the sacred teachings of Islam and was not a Muslim leader. They say he was a murderer of countless Muslims and non-Muslims. The death of bin Laden is a victory not only for America, but for Muslims worldwide who have largely rejected his bankrupt message and, and have viewed bin Laden and Al-Qaeda as a disgrace to Muslims worldwide and as a perversion of our core, you know, our core faith values. Um, so today is a moment to stop and, uh, and feel gratitude, but also to um, continue to remember the victims of 9-11 and the victims of terrorism worldwide. Adina Lekovic says, uh, she's a spokesperson for our MPAC. She says, local Muslims will continue to stand with their fellow Americans and remain vigilant against any threats. She says, seven out of the last 10 domestic terror plots have been foiled because of a tip coming from a Muslim. Now, members of law enforcement will join the Muslim Public Affairs Council here in Highland Park for a news conference at their offices beginning at noon. Reporting live here in Highland Park, I'm Melissa McBride, ABC7. Eyewitness News. The Muslim Public Affairs Council says today is a day to remember the victims of 9-11 and all victims of terror attacks worldwide. MPAC says it greeted the news of Osama bin Laden's death with an immense sense of relief and is expressing gratitude for the forces on the ground who brought him to justice, President Obama and his national security team. Reporting in Highland Park, I'm Melissa McBride, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News anchor Mark Brown.